ஹலோ ஆல் வெல்கம் பேக் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் நவீன் அண்ட் அகெயின் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டிஸ்கஸ் த டெலிட் ஃபங்க்ஷனாலிட்டி திங் இஸ் ஸோ வென் எவர் ஐ கிளிக் ஆன் திஸ் கிராஸ் சிம்பிள் ஐ வாண்ட் டு டெலிட் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் ஐட்டம் ஃப்ரம் த லோக்கல் ஸ்டோரேஜ் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அகெயின் ஸ்லைட் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் லாஜிக் ஸோ லெஸ் ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஹியர் ஐ வாண்ட் டு கிளிக் ஆன் திஸ் டு ரிமூவ் so let's make an event on uh, click event not exactly here uh, the whole uh, list see what i am doing is here the the task list right so let me get the task list so let's add a separate function for that remove task okay so let uh, task list element is equal document dot query selector of hash task list okay i got task list and let's say task list element dot add event listener of uh, click event comma one function so i'm just the whole uh, list i'm making uh, an event uh, you get the event as an optional parameter uh, so here i'll just take console dot log of event dot target uh what is this target is event dot target which means so when you apply the click event the whole element so what inside whatever the element you click so that element is going to get so the e- click event has applied on which element so the target element is going to get here uh if you want to understand let me inspect console uh you got an error of uh, fa solid uh, acha uh, this is actually for the the font or some related uh, things okay this just forget as of now it's not related to our program just remove it as of now just delete it yeah now see uh, here see when i click on the cross symbol i got that icon okay i tag that target element okay and uh, when i click on this data i got the span tag this one so when i click outside i got the li tag okay so whatever element i'm clicking i'm getting that element but i want exactly when i click on the cross symbol then only i want to remove the element so for this element is this one so i have to check if any element which is having the class call if your time circle it means you exactly click on that element so i need that what i do is <coughs> sorry <coughs> let's uh, <coughs> okay target uh, elements <coughs> uh, is equal to uh, even dot um, target okay so i got this uh next um so i have to check the condition if the target elements dot class list dot contains uh what exactly you are searching for is um sorry let's make a console log uh the class name right what's the class name over here i think it's here only uh, the class name is fa time circle so what i'm checking is the target elements class list contains my this class okay if it contain this class it says console.log of yes okay uh, otherwise uh, you can make it as a console.log of no okay so if i exactly click on the cross symbol to get s otherwise you get the no so let's check uh, clear all this let me click on this yes if i click somewhere outside it's no yes perfect now when it is yes i want to remove that element right okay uh, we don't need else case yeah uh, we know that it is yes right now what you have to remove i want to remove exactly this particular key from the list so it means i want to fetch exactly this thing exactly how to get this is 
um, see here we got uh, the element right this element so this element dot parent element is button dot parent element is the list item so you get the list item um, what I do is let actual element is equal to uh, target element dot parent element dot parent element so two times parent element so let's make console dot logo actual element so if I say target element target element is your I, I tag parent is button its parent is li so you get the whole li of uh, that respective task let's check once if I click on this see I got the li which contains the data go for jogging so when I click on the last one as early as possible uh, yes I got that okay but now I don't need the whole element I just need uh, this particular text okay um, what you do is um, yeah let's say let's uh, selected task is equal to actual element dot inner text so let's say again a uh, console dot log of selected task okay so let's see that uh, when I click on go for jogging daily yes I exactly got go for jogging daily when I click on the last one I got that and I click on the middle one I got that yes exactly this I got so now the plan is I want to remove this particular element from the local storage uh, how to remove that is let me get data from local storage get task from local storage so let's um, we know how to get the task from local storage right what was that um, this one copy we got the task list yeah task list I got uh, from this I want to remove the selected task so I use this uh, filter function to remove that element so let's okay let's do like this task list is equal to the existing task list dot filter uh, I'll make a function inside you will get the each task uh, what I'm doing is what are the selected tasks I want to remove the selected task except the selected task the remaining selected ta I mean remaining tasks I wanted um, what you can do is return task dot trim uh, does the trim is not is equal to the selected task dot trim okay what actually it does is uh, all the task all the three task uh, what is there in the local storage it will fetch in that whatever the selected element is there except that I gonna get all the remaining elements store back to the same variable okay fine uh, when you do a console dot log of task list so let's see what happens now um, here see close it um, in the application three tasks are there okay now when I click on a first one you get only two except uh, the daily I got other two okay these two I want to set back to application local storage so what I do is local storage dot set item of task uh, comma json dot stringify of task list okay fine so now you can test uh, the application uh, uh, local storage check now in the application see we have three three when I click on our first one it become only two okay uh, we'll, we'll change the front end ladder and when I click on the today I got only one but it's, it's updating in the local storage but I want to update on the front end as well uh, so for that uh, what you can do is let's call display task okay so what it does it will uh, fetch the data from local storage and append again okay so just call uh, display tasks afterwards so let's check see only one it was 
okay just click on that it's removed okay fine uh, looks good and um, yeah let's try uh, so go back here get and also you can check in the um, local storage no data okay it's just empty array fine uh, so when I say get get, get grocery from store at task I think I press two times oh god uh, one meta I have not checked uh, is a task is existing in the storage or not so that's a problem uh, it's okay uh, actually can we do a window page refresh or something um, where you can do is can we do for every item you can do a window dot reload so what this reload is it will reload your the whole page okay fine uh, looks good now check get grocery from store add yes it is added now get milk from local shop uh, add yes so two things has added and let's say finish js course soon okay add it is added okay fine and you can check now in the local storage you have uh, three elements okay let's good and now what i do is i just delete the first one close it see it removed only two okay now you can check only two go back see only two and uh, let me delete the one milk okay delete it's gone and here also gone only one is there from local storage okay so this is actually you can develop an application and you can remove the items okay so only the delete functionality is like complex but uh, so please try to do a one by one and if you feel any complexity just do a console.log to debug your application so that it will be very easy for you to uh, you know uh, to see and understand the actual logic okay so that's it enough for this video and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you